Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a picture in this book here, Innocent Sweet Grayscale Art, done by Rachel Mintz. Uh, the artist name is right here. Uh, can't pronounce it, so <laughs> you can see it. We're going to do this little cute bunny page here. So I'm going to um, do it in whole binds, hopefully. I took out my book here that has all my colors down. We're going to do the tulips in red, so I'm going to pick out some reds and then maybe some charisma to darken them up in the bottom and then brighter reds up towards the top. And then, of course, we have the uh, little white pencil in here that's supposed to do really nice work on uh, some pages so I'm going to borrow that. I think I'll do the bunny in gray and we have a lot of little grays to choose down here too so we have pencils and I like to uh, always try them out on a book. <laughs> Hopefully uh, I don't mess up too much. I put a little tiny red here just to see how these pencils will work in this um, book. So pulling out some reds, let's see, we're going to get out um, oh, probably the carmine and a sing signal red. <laughs> carmine. And signal red, they're really close together. Uh, brighter reds and then I have the um, crimson in the darker tone. We might even bring in a light lighter tone and see this is shell pink. So we're gonna do um, a couple red ones, maybe a yellow one. I don't know, it depends on how crazy I decide to get. <laughs> uh, we'll do the green in a minute. We're gonna just start on the flower buds and uh, probably put a little of this red in the bunny's nose and um, possibly the ears and the feet. Um, so we have a, a little bucket here that the tulips are in. We have some clay pots that the little ones are planted in here. The little bunny has got a little shirt on with a little button right here and he's got a little pair of blue jeans. Um, you can't really see that but the bunny's um, going to be done the same as uh, this little bunny here so we're doing blue jeans on him he's got a little button he's got his little shirt you can't see stripes in here so i'm just going to give him a brownish maybe bluish shirt to go with the blue jeans uh so let's see i'll probably have to get you down a little bit a little closer to the tulip area with out, getting the pencil in your way. I'll try that. Okay. So we're going to start with probably this tulip here because why not? Go in with the um, lighter red first. Oh, I forgot to get out the white. Do, do, do. We have two whites here. We have the soft white and the um, regular white, so we'll see which one does what here. Now, we're going to start. Uh, this one is the signal red. And we're just going to, I guess it's sharp enough, kind of go in here and pull this up on, there's some darker lines in there. Pull them up. Kind of trace the outline. One that gets rid of the gray scale <laughs> color part. And you kind of get to see what you're doing now. Okay, so this is one petal. <laughs> we'll do another one over here. This one's going to be darker, so we can just shade that in. And um, this one is going to be darker too. 
I think there's another one back there. But we'll figure that out later. Okay. And then we're just going to lightly bring some of that color up. Bring in the shell pink and pull some of that down, covering up that gray. Okay, then we'll go back in with the carmine here. Darken up those lines a little bit. Some of that on top over there and back over here. Okay, and I'm going to bring in some of that nice dark color, the crimson here, because we want to darken this area up over on this side. Darken the base down on that side. Darken this petal over here. And kind of darken a little bit of this one in here. Bring back in the red um, carmine. Let's go over that again. The signal red. Shell pink. Then we'll bring in our, this one needs to be sharpened. This is just going to be the plain white. We're going to see what um, it will do on the gray scale here. I just want to lighten some of the edges up on the front petal. So we want to lighten them up here. Bring those up from the bottom here. Then we'll just go back in and not the red. <laughs> this is the darkest red. Okay, we have a flower. I'm going to bring in just a tiny bit of a black. I'm just going to go in here real close to that petal and just darken it.
will bring back in the carmine. And that gives us our little flower. I think I'll do the other one in a yellow color just to bring in a different color here. <clears throat> so we'll get some brighter yellows out. Let's see, marigold, sunflower, dandelion, something in that line. <laughs> Um, dandelions here, marigold here, and then we can use one of the reds to add a little color in. So we're going to start off with dandelion and then work with marigold. So we'll bring that up. go then we'll bring in the marigold go over those little stripings and darken it up in the dark gray areas And then we'll bring in a little of the uh, lightest color red, which is the signal red. We'll lay that right on top. I'm giving it an orange look. Go back over it with the marigold. Go over these lines. And then we'll go back over with um, dandelion. I had to read that one. At least I can pronounce the names, right? <laughs> Gonna bring in the white. Touch the edge there. Another flower. Okay, um, we're going to do some leaves here. Um, let's see, two colored leaves. We'll go in with um, fur. No, that's too blue. 
bottle green. <laughs> bottle moss and cactus, I guess. <laughs> bottle green, interesting name. Bottle green, cactus, and moss. Okay. All I'm doing is picking a dark, dark green, a medium green, and a lightest of the color, but I want it in kind of a darker family, so. We're gonna go in with the darkest part first. This is the bottle green. Okay, then we'll go in with the moss green. Oops, I grabbed the bottle green again. I thought that was looking a little weird. Okay. Moss green. <laughs> and then our cactus green. Bring in a tiny bit of a light, lighter green. Let's see. I don't know, neon green. Um, you want some misty green. Yeah, misty green is a good one. Then we'll bring in our white and just lighten up this edge here. A little bit on that side. Right here. That leaf is curling behind the plant. A little up in here. Down into the center there. This is the moss green. Just kind of going over the white a little bit. And we're going to bring in a tiny bit of the black just to get way down in here. down in there. Bring back in the bottle the green and blend the black out a little. Please. Yeah, do the same thing on this one down here. Start off with the bottle. Bring it up.
must be next. Cactus green. Cactus. Bottle. <laughs> it sounds funny saying that. Put a little of that going up into the tulip. Bottle green to blend the black. Bit of the moss green here and a little bit of the misty green. do the um, little pots. These two are terracotta pots so I'll do one terracotta pot and we'll do them in I don't think we have a plain old terracotta do we? <coughs> Sorry. And we have cinnamon, brick, cocoa, crimson, autumn leaf is a good one and burnt sienna. Let's see what we can grab out of here. Burnt sienna, autumn leaf. And what else did I say? Brick. And hmm. I think I'll go with a little bit of mahogany. So those are our colors here. We have burnt sienna, autumn leaf, brick, and a mahogany for darker pieces on here. So we'll go with the lightest color which is the autumn leaf and we'll place it uh, on our lightest or around our lightest areas here. Just a little light coat here. Outline everything. Inside is going to be dirt, so we can go over here too.
Okay. Next color in is going to be the burnt sienna. Next one in is going to be the brick. Okay, then we bring in the mahogany. I'm going to get a brown because I need a brown. Um, I don't need that dark of a brown. <laughs> How about a chocolate? down a little further there. Darken that one. Leave a little bit of that light color at the top to give it a little shine up there. Deeper shadow back here. Remember our pots are round, or at least they're going to try to look round. <laughs> so we're going to try to keep them going that direction. We need a kind of a creamy color for over here. So I'm going to go with sand and I'm going to turn the book. So when I'm coloring it, I'm coloring it in the right direction here. Right in there. Line those up a little bit. Okay, we'll pull in a white here. Just keep that little rim going there. Okay. 
back in with the chocolate. Okay, then we'll go back in with the mahogany. Need a little more red in there. Terracotta. <laughs> I'm not trying to make brown pots. Needed the shadow though. Go in with the lightest color that we had, oh, the autumn leaf. Just kind of lightly, lightly go over everybody. Turn the book again. And just gonna get the um, Karen Dash blender. It's the full blender. And I'm just gonna rub it on there. Get those blended just a little bit more. Basically just in a few spots. So there we go, terracotta pots. This one is a bucket, so we can do that different. <laughs> I mean, so far we've got two flowers in a pot. Okay. Um, let's see, the bucket. We could either do the bucket in gray, which wouldn't be hard. Brown, it could be a brown bucket. It looks to be missing its little handle here, so we don't have to worry about a handle. We could do it green, we could do it any color, because um, it could be a painted bucket. Um, hmm. I think we'll work on the bunny. <laughs> I'll come up with ideas for the uh, <laughs> um, bucket later. Okay, we have to put on some blue jeans on him, so let's get out like a navy blue and a light blue. Okay, so I have uh, navy blue and um, sex blue. So we'll go in with the navy first. I'll be going over some of his fur here, but that's okay because we'll be putting it back in. I'm going to try not to go over too many of the white parts. His pants go up to about there. And then come down to about here. So we have blue in there. Now we're going to go in with the lighter blue. And just kind of pull it into the fur. Pull some up in here. There, he's got pants on. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Put those up there. Now his shirt. How about his button? We'll do his button. 
We have a bran out here, don't we? We have chocolate, and we should have... Um, oh, we've got this shell color. That might add a nice color to it. Okay, the button. This is chocolate. Kind of got an X pattern in here. It's also got fur in there, so I kind of have to be a little careful. This is the, um, what is this? It's really nice, uh, shell pink. I'm going to put that in there. And then we'll use a little bit of the uh, burnt sienna. Bringing some of that color up from the pot. Back in with the chocolate. And we have a little button. <clears throat> We're going to put a little sand over here just to lighten that part up. Okay, then I'm going to go over the light part with that we're going to bring in some of the um, marigold and just brighten it a little bit there we go cute little button now his shirt we have a leaf here so I'm going to outline the leaf so I don't um, get in between the leaf and his Shirt. The green part's the leaf. <laughs> now, um, let's see. Do I want to make stripes like the other guy? I gotta go back to that picture. It's just like little stripes in there, and he's got the little button. Okay, so I don't think there's enough room. What color do we want to make his shirt? We can make it green, but uh, only with the medium greens and the and the real light ones. So I'll go in with the um, the cactus green here. going to put in a stripe that's where it would be okay and then very lightly on his cuff add a tiny bit of the moss green Go in with the um, misty green. Add in kind of a striped look there. Bring in the white. green to knock back that white a little bit.
darkening it there. Okay. Now the bunny himself. I kind of want to do him in gray. Just because I think he'd be a softer bunny. And I'm wondering if I should use the blue grays. Got cool grays and warm grays. And I think I'm going to go with the cool grays. It'll go with the... Uh, the blue in his pants. Uh, the cool grays have got a blue tone to them, and the warm gray, grays have got brown to them. I want them so I just pulled them all out because I don't know what I'm going to use. <laughs> we have um, cool gray from one, so two, three, four, five, and six. So six is a really, really dark one. So we'll just scoop these pencils over. We're going to start with a medium dark. I'm going to start on his face. So we're going to go in here and kind of go behind the hair. Maybe pull some up. Go up to where his eye is. We're going to kind of darken this area of the eye and this side of the eye. Okay, we can do the same over here. Darken that side. Pull some down. And darken this side. Pull that into there. So you're kind of giving him a little place for his eyes to sit. Okay. Some of that out. Turn your pencil every now and then, take it a sharper point. I want those hairs to kind of stand out. I'm going to go around and pull some of these out here and there. You don't have to do it everywhere. Do some up here. Give them more of a little fluff up up on top. And come up. Okay. Couple over here. Don't want to get too intense. We do have to do that. And that one. Hmm. Okay, so that was number four. So we want to go down to number three. Bring a couple more of those out here and there. ears. <laughs> They're kind of all over the place, so you can be too. You can also shape his head this way. If you don't like the total round, pull some of this in a little further and leave this alone. And then you'll get more of a um, smaller area up here. Just pulling some of that in. 
and then if you leave just a little bit of color out on the edges you'll get more of a hmm, I don't even know how to explain that not round more of a pear type face just by pulling some of that in here okay now we want to go to the next one down which is two And we're going to bring some of that up. We're also going to bring some of that down. We're going to get a little closer to his nose. some of that in. Definitely going to bring that up into the ears. bring a tiny bit of pink in. I gotta find a nice soft pink. And I'm gonna need a scratch piece of paper for that because I don't know these pinks that well yet. Especially when it comes to being on paper. Because mm -hmm. we have an ash pink and then I pulled out a rose pink. And I think that might be a nice dark color. What's the other one I said? Ash Rose or Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom's pretty. Cherry Blossom could probably be my favorite color. <laughs> and that'll just cover that. Nice, okay, those are the two colors. We wanna bring a little pink into his cheek area here. So I'm going to start with the um, cherry blossom. I'm going to put it right under his eye. That's going to be a little bit over here too. Oh, that's such a soft, pretty color. I like that. We're going to put it up in his ears. his feet. And a little foot over here too showing. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, and then we're going to darken it up on his feet with the, what was this one? Pink rose, rose pink. Just on one side there where it was mostly gray. And we'll do that up here in his ears too. And a little bit on his cheek here. cherry blossom and lighten that up a little. Everywhere we got it. Put 
spoon. Oh, already looking cute. Okay. <clears throat> the um, number one. We go in here. Now we're just going to lightly pull that color up and out. We're not making fur anymore. We're just going to lightly pull it up. Do that up on the ears. Then we're going to go up in number. So this is the cool gray number two. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Okay. We'll go up one more number. Let's do three. Going around and making more fluff here. Darkening this ear. It's behind, so it has to be darker. Putting a little of that gray inside the pink, too. And just lightly turn the book because I want the color going towards the bunny. Okay, 
the real dark color now. The uh, number six. Underline that eye a little. you want to make here. His little nose. Number five, pull those out a little. even more by adding a lighter color. Or darken them up by adding a darker color. I want this to go in a little further. Then we're going to add the white. Just pull it on or out from wherever you want it to highlight from. When we get doing the roses, we'll go through here with a little Posca and fluff it out. And not roses, they're tulips. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there's one line there that's bugging me. So I'm going to erase it. Pretty sure I put it in. <laughs> up too high so there we go we're just going to rub this with our finger and bring it out a little bit okay bring it down we're going to pull this in with our finger and pull that out 
and just fluff them up a little. Here we go. Just enough color there. Okay, I'm going to do his eyes before we get too far. I have this um, glaze um, Sakura pen. It's the jelly roll, I believe, but what it does is it adds just a bit of texture here and it'll just pop his eyes. A little bit of shine. Oops, I really want that out of there. <laughs> oh boy. Can we get it with the pen? Hmm. I have to wait because if it's wet and I scratch it, it'll get all over the place. Okay, so see how that just pops his eyes out. Just, I love this pen for that. If you ever want little little eyes to pop out like that, pick up just the black one. <laughs> I bought the black and a white. I can't get the white one to work, but I bought them. And I love that black one. I'm going to put a little Posca in on those highlights. I'm going to get that shook up, but gonna have to do that in a little bit. I'm gonna give him more of a little chin here or I might put another piece of the tulip out on that side. I'm not sure. So the rest of his fur will be done the exact same way. I think we might want to put just a little more color up here. This is the number three. Just in some spots here, right on the edge, up here. Because his mouth is here, his chin should be right about here. I don't know if I want to bring fur up that far. I'll have to think about that. But that's my area that I want to make his chin. <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out. But like I said, that's how we're going to do the uh, rest of his fur. We're going to leave him mostly white up here. I might bring in a little ink and just ink up some of those areas. Trying to make his eye a little. Get that piece out. There we go. A little rounder up there. Okay, so the bucket. I don't want to do the bucket in green. I really don't want to do it in blue. We're going to have all these tulips in red. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and color in these tulips up here, just like I did this one. And then I'll come back and we'll see about the bucket. Okay, we're back. All the flowers are done. And I finished his little feet and legs. And I put the little dots in his eyes. Bucket. I'm going to have to do it in brown because I just don't see any other color that I can bring it in. So I'm going to kind of do it the same as these um, down here. The terracotta colors. Because I don't want to bring any more colors in. But we're going to try to get it to be a little more browner. So we're going to start off with the chocolate. And we're just going to kind of go, I'm um, sorry, 
going to have to turn the book a little. Go in where it's the darkest and color that in in the chocolate. Go down on this side. We're going to do the, like I said, the grass in green. So I'm going to be going over it here so I can get the bucket in <laughs> one color. side and I'm just going very lightly here we want to make sure we get our ribs in here or whatever you want to call these little things that make the bucket lips. Okay, now we're going to bring in brick. And again, lightly. Then just go the other direction. Want to get as much as that tooth as we can to go down, but I'm not putting any pressure on it yet. I'm going to go in with mahogany. Just bring a little of that red tone in. Then we'll go in with a little burnt sienna. Okay, then we're going to go in with um, Autumn Leaf.
Then we're going to go back in with the chocolate. Okay, and then the sand we had out here before. If I can find it. Do, 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 do. Here it is. <laughs> I'm going to use this to flatten down the tooth here to put a little more pressure on it. this in the lightest spots here and bring it out and this is a hole in the bucket so we're not going to color that <laughs> okay we're going to go in and do all the colors over again brown bring it out again Okay, and where is the next darkest color that was not red? The brick. Oh, it's kind of red. I'll still put it in there since I already started. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking that color. So I'm going to bring in the blender. And we're just going to run it across and make sure everybody's blended together. breaking down the tooth on the paper too. Okay, I might put just a tiny bit more brown in that.
Let me get those lines so you can see them. Okay, and there we go, bucket done. Okay, so we're going to do the grass with the ink, just because I think it might be just a bit easier for me. And this video is getting long. <laughs> we'll find a, a pad here. We have shabby shutters, ink, uh, distress ink. Just gonna get some on here. Just gonna go across, put it in there. a little heavier in some spots. There we go. Get on the pot and not in his fur. <laughs> Which you can. You can put this in the pots too and give it a little green. If it'll go in there. I don't have another green in here. And blues. I, don't know. I think that looks pretty good. We can throw some of this um, cactus green in here and just pull up some greenery. Pull it up onto the pots. Out. Up down here. Throw in another color we used in the leaves. This is bottle green. Okay, so we'll throw that up there. Get some in the pot. But get some up there and pull it up. You have to pull it up pretty hard to get it onto the pot. Um, we'll use some of the, what was this, misty green. Throw some of that in there. Okay, and then we will use some Posca here and take that green out of his feet by adding in some white fur. Pull some white fluff out onto the barrel, <laughs> bucket, whatever that thing is. Oh boy, if you wanted to add in some up here. We did put a little dot on his nose. We got the dots on my eyes. I think we're about done. Yeah, I think that's rather cute. Just going to put a little highlight on these 
these little, whatever you call them, ribs here. There. My pots. A little bit too. Awesome. Just a tiny bit of brown on that. And if you wanted to, if you think those got a little too light, just take a little gray on the tips and you can knock those back a little bit. Throw some gray out there if you thought it looked a little off. I think I'll throw some out onto his sleeve here too. There we go. So I will take a picture at the end of the video and let you see him in photo form. So I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> I had fun with it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.